All right, so this video is going to cover this first uh, sentence capitalizer string program uh, in your programming projects. You'll be graded on two, three, four, um, and five down here, but uh, I'll demonstrate this one for you guys. So it says write a method that accepts, a, well, sentence capitalizer, write a method that accepts a string object as an argument and returns a copy of the string with the first character of each sentence capitalized. For instance, if the argument is, hello, my name is Joe, what is your name? The method should return the string, hello, with a capital H there, and a capital M and my, uh, my name is Joe, a capital W, what is your name? Demonstrate the method in a program that asks the user to print a string, uh, and then passes it to the method, the modified string should be displayed on the screen. So I'm going to write this only for periods um, with uh, exclamation points and question marks. That opens up a whole different can of worms than what I was planning on doing. But um, you guys could do that for like maybe like a challenge or whatever. But uh, this is just going to be for periods. At the same time, I'm expecting that you when we write this we're only going to have like one we're only going to do one space after the period sometimes when you, you use like two spaces depending on what uh you know what you're typing up but we'll just make sure we use one here so all right so file new project we'll call this main sentence capitalizer And let's see here. Click. Call this one sentence. Okay. Make it a little bit larger so that you guys can see it better on the video. And then I just, again, like cleaning up a lot of this stuff I don't need all right there's that okay so first thing we well okay there's two different ways to do this for testing purposes um, you know I'll show you how to set this up And then um, sentence capitalizer my sentence capitalizer it's new. Okay. All right, so I'm actually going to comment this out and just do this. It's easier to do it like this, so um Instead of every time writing it, having to type in a, this sentence, I'm just going to hard code it. So you guys can switch it back after you're done with it if you're wanting to uh, mess with it. And we'll call our method set capitals. And we'll get the sentence back here. And it will set capitals. Okay, cool.
what we'll do as well, we'll do we're going to put this inside here so it will print here and then here and we'll see the original message and we'll compare it to this one when we're ready all right i'll put that back in in a little bit all right so public void set capitals all right so we got to accept the string sentence okay so all this so far is pretty easy no problems so what I did here was I just set this up so that we can go through this. I've got my sentence that I'm going to use. I've got their index position. And then what I did is I just put a one above the zeros. So a one here, a two here, three. This makes it easy to read. So, you know, you're at 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Then you're at 20 all the way to 29, then 30 to 39, and then finally our last uh, index position, which is 40. So when you're working on something like this, you definitely want to, uh, at least for me, makes it easier reading through the index positions and kind of what you're going to do here. Now, there's a few th different things you need to do here. So the first thing is you need to set the first letter so first letter of first word um, needs uppercasing, okay? And, but once that's set, then what you're looking for are periods with a space, okay? And that's where you can get into using an algorithm. So the first time through when you're doing this, um, you know, you're just, you're just looking for that first character, okay? So um, let's see here. I'm going to set int i equal to 1. Um, and then I'm going to say if sentence.length is greater than 0. Okay, this is going to get my sentence. Um, this is going to get my first first uh, character in my sentence using a substring. So when you think about this, all I want to do is isolate this first character. So I can use a substring starting at 0 to 1, and that will give me my H. And then I can uppercase that H, and then I can add it on to everything here. Okay, so I'm kind of, I'm rebuilding the sentence. So I'm going to say sentence dot substring. Um, zero to I dot two upper case ah case okay plus sentence dot substring I we'll put this on a different line so that I can put some comments in for you guys so this uh isolates and um, capitalizes the first uh, character okay and then what this does uh, so now remember substring can have it, it, you can have an overloaded substring these are these are two different substring Method, well, they're one substring method, but they're they're overloaded. Okay, so Java is smart enough to know at runtime pick the one where only one parameter is passed, or pick the one where two parameters passed. In this case, it goes zero, and since i is one in this case, it goes zero to here, but it's really it's really minus one really, so it it just picks out the hello the h and hello, and then that that then uppercase is that H, and then we add on the, um, from position one right here, the hello, my name is Joe, what is your name? And we add that on to um, the uppercase H. Um, so we can see what it does here. If I do system.out.println and print my sentence, So 
So again, when you're working with strings, um, what I like to do is take my original string and then figure out what we need to rebuild basically. Run anyway, let's see what the problem is. Um, uncompilable, erroneous tree type, yeesh. Oh, yeah, that's easy to fix. How about we do this? Return instead, and then we'll just print the sentence. Uh, instead of void, we'll do string. So there we go. Okay, now our H is uppercased, okay? So again, it's like breaking your, your sentence apart with each individual character that you need. In this case, just the uppercase H, and then adding the rest of the sentence to it, and then reassign it to sentence, okay? So that's that's how you get the first one, okay? So then we got to start looking for where are the period and then the space in there, okay? Um, so in order to do that, we can say I is equal to the sentence dot index of, and all we do is just search for the I or the, the period and then the um, space. So if I do a system dot out dot println on I after this, it's going to give me where it finds the first period. So at position five. So zero, one, two, three, four, and there's there it finds it. Okay. So that's the that's going to be the first one that it finds. Okay. So um, while now we're going to do a while statement because we don't know how many periods are going to be in your um, um, sentence. So we'll just do it as long as uh, I I is not equal to negative one. Remember, if it doesn't find a period in a space then it would assign it to negative one, meaning that it doesn't exist, okay? And so we'll it, it will eventually get there, um, but not until all of our, you know, sentence, first letter in our, our sentence are capitalized, okay? So what I'm going to do is an I++ plus plus here, and that is going to increment uh, by one to refer to the blank uh, position, after the period okay so remember this found five but if I add one to it that gives me six okay and then I can do another while loop I can say while I is less than my sentence dot length okay and I always need to make sure I is less than the length because if not I get a an out of bounds uh, index error so I'll say sentence.length and sentence.char at position i. And as long as that is equal to our blank spot, then I am going to, um, uh, wait a second, I am going to, I am going to add up. All right, so I did this I++ plus plus right here. Well, first of all, we need to make sure that I is less than the length or you get that index out of bounds error. And that, that where we're at with I, it, it's, it's a blank space. So I'll do I++ plus plus now. And what that will do was that will uh, increment by one to refer to the uh, lowercase letter in the next sentence. Okay. <coughs> All right. So that would be, you know, it, look for that, but then this is the first letter when we add I to it. So that would make that seven right there. So I would be seven. Okay. So now um, we basically, so we, we, that would give us here. So we basically need to rebuild our sentence again. We need to do from zero to here. 
and then we got to uppercase just that letter, and then we got to go from eight to the end. Okay, so in order to do that, we just say sentence equals uh, sentence sentence dot substring, and we go zero to i. Whoops, not O, zero to I. Okay, and what that does is uh, zero to the blank position. Okay, and then we do sentence dot substring I to I plus one. So that gives us like right here on position seven. So I is seven, seven plus one is eight. So seven to position eight, which is really eight minus one. So that just gives us the M. And then we dot two uppercase that M. And this, uh, let me move this over. On uh, this upper casing, each character, each character, um, and then we do sentence dot, and now we want to do um, i plus 1, which would be 8, so that would give us our y, so 8 to the very end of our string. So that's where we can do substring i plus 1 and semicolon. And we can say the letter after uppercase um, to the end of the string. Okay. Okay. Now, what we got to do? So that 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 just did. That would have made this one uppercased. Now, what we got to do is we got to find the next instance where there's a, a period and then a space and then start from there. Okay, we don't want to go back to the beginning and start at this one because we already made the M uppercase. We want to go to the next one. So in order to do that, we say I equals the sentence dot index of, and it's just the same thing as above, only this time we do I and then comma uh, I or sorry, period, space, comma, I. Now in this one, this finds the first uh, instance of it, which would have been this period right here. But with this, this is saying, look for this period space, but you have to start at position I. And position I was seven, remember? So seven. So don't, don't allow it to look for a period space until you start at position seven. And so that's where you get your algorithm to then go back up, see if it finds it. It would, it would find it at position uh, 21. And then you do plus one would give us the 22. And then plus one again would give us 23. That would give us the W. And that's where you, you know, you build this whole thing again. So um, hopefully this works and I don't have errors. Let's see. <coughs> okay, and that's where we can do then a, this is the original, and this is the new one, and let's see if every single one, so the H, the M, and the W are all uppercased, okay? So again, th this becomes a lot harder if you're looking for uh, <laughs> an exclamation point and a question mark, and so just being your first string program, I didn't want to open that can of worms for you yet, but <coughs> <coughs> spend some time studying this again with strings. I like thinking about it as kind of like um, Scrabble pieces where you're pulling pieces apart and then connect, reconnecting the different uh, pieces together into the string that you actually want to build. So um, this video is done.